Once again, I'm doing a video out of order in order to handle breaking news, so to speak. Some months ago, I wrote a program and did uh, several videos on something called YouTube Love. I actually never explained that Love stands for latest update values. <laughs> but the, uh, the thing is, I think yesterday, this program just stopped working and it didn't stop working altogether but it works weird and it, this actually looks a little different because I've added some uh, updates to it since I did the videos but if we run the program see it, it, the uploads is actually saved as a flat file and in the subscribers we get the number of views and then we get an error on the uh, start index because it's less than zero which basically means it didn't find a string it was looking for and the reason for this is uh, on the channel page where we used to have subscribers and views we now just have views so uh, YouTube changed the format of the channel page I actually don't have a deal with them to keep the channel page the same so my program will work. So if we want to find a place where we still have both those pieces of information it's actually a bunch of clicks. Uh, first I go to uh, video manager and then I click on dashboard and you see here we have the views and the subscribers again and the URL is weird. The URL is just like www.youtube.com slash dashboard and it's not qualified by my username or anything else. So clearly the URL is depending on your, you being logged in and that the fact you're being logged in is saved in cookies somewhere. So if we look at the code for YouTube Love basically in the form load we're going to the channel page and then we're attaching a uh, event handler to the event of document complete because we have to wait until the document is completely loaded before we do the analysis of the page and if we look at the document complete event handler the main thing it calls is load stats so if I right click on that and go to go, def go to definition See, the main thing Load Stats is doing is it's loading the entire uh, document into a string variable. And then it's basically doing an index of to find the stat value, which is a class. If it were an ID, we'd be able to find it more directly, but it's a class. And it's used twice, the exact same thing, stat value. So we find the first one, create a neighborhood of characters and then find the second one in order to find the subscribers and the uh, the views but that doesn't work anymore because it's only there once so I wrote a second program to solve this problem since I actually somewhat compulsively use this program I'm always looking at it and I don't want to go through like six or seven clicks in order to get to it so this time we just have a form and we drag over the web browser to the form and just go with the default of making it fill the entire form before we put it as a part of the form I think or not even on the form at all I guess and then in the code I just have two lines in the form load I use this dot text which is the uh, text at, at the top of the window and uh, I just say update and I do a date time dot now dot two string F which is the complex format that has the date and the day and the time and everything else and then I do a WB navigate to the dashboard page and this once again assumes that you're logged on to, uh, to YouTube and you know it knows who, what your user ID is and so on and then if we run this you see it comes up with the uh, 
the dashboard page and we have the subscribers and the views together again and if they change this again I probably won't do another video <laughs> I mean it's reached the point of who cares but I thought this was interesting because this is only two lines of code and the other one was you know a lot of lines of code and the fact is the average uh, user will look at this and go wow that's really impressive you got pictures you got formatting and uh, you've got the date and time up in the uh, the tag field so uh, it's really one of those life isn't fair things you know you do a little work and you get a lot of credit or you do a lot of work and you get only a little credit but in any case I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe I should add uh, the first time you run this program even if you're logged in in a browser it'll probably put you on a login page and you'll have to type in your password again to establish cookies for the program itself that says you're logged in so if you uh, run this program and see that page don't panic just log in and from then on it'll pop up this page that shows the views and subscribers well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.